Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona. Welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. How are you doing today, guys? All good? All good, teacher. Okay. Great. And you? Nice. I'm doing great. Still alive. That's good already. All right. So, my dear friends, um, what was, as we always do, thank you very much for being here. Let's go ahead and recap what we covered the previous class. Um, do you guys remember what was Thursday's topic? Thursday. Mm -hmm. The last class was about the correct pronunciation or the right pronunciation of uh -huh. uh, shut up and I will. Okay. I've been. Reduce have and been. Exactly. The reduction of have been. That was the main topic. Now, what have you been up to lately? That's a, that's a question. What have you been up to? ¿Qué han estado haciendo? In my case, I've been, I've been moving stuff around because I moved out of my house to a new place. Right? So I've been... I've been working hard all of these, the whole weekend pretty much since Friday. What have you been doing? Anybody that wants to mention? What? Tomas, you are muted. Can you hear me now? Yes. No, okay. Okay, I've been cleaning the house since the storm. It's been really tough and we had to do a lot of laundry. Um, so I've been doing a lot of laundry, uh, organizing the house, um, fixing things that were broken. And I've been studying a little bit, practicing. Nice. And I've been... Well, I've been in San Miguel. I was in San Miguel today. I went to San Miguel because I had to do some uh, as an emergency trip over there. Mm -hmm. But besides that, I've been staying home and doing, fixing things that I had that had to be done. Okay, nice. Good interaction. Um, one more thing. Good job, Thomas. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh, one more. A brave person that wants to participate. Just one. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, Anita? Uh -huh. In my case, I I was I was working in my in my home. Um, uh -huh. uh, this time is a good time for me because I I can uh, doing a business for my company. Uh, I really so happy because I introduce. Uh, a machine in the hospital. In the hospital. Uh, the hospital in the uh, hospital Sacamil, hospital Sacamil in the Inns. Uh, I I I I feel so good because mm -hmm. I in in is this time is difficult for all the people, but my product uh, are excellent product for the for the hospital. Okay, nice. I'm really glad that you're able to to continue with your business and to deliver some products or some equipment, equipo, equipment. I'm a lifer for uh, a test, ca cardiac test. Okay. Cardiac test uh, uh, for the uh, people when, like um, the people have a... Uh, um, what do you say? Infarto agudo del miocardio. I don't even know what a miocardio is. <laughs> <laughs> but infarto is a heart attack. Uh, it's a heart attack. Heart attack. Heart heart attack. attack. Uh, yes. Okay. It's a, it's a, a specific test. It's a, it's a, the, the company is from Canada. Okay. Nice. It's a good product. And I, I really heart so happy because I, I, I can do in uh, business. Okay, I can do business. Do business for uh -huh. my company. Nice, Anaida, good. I consider that you have good fluency. Your ideas are very clear. 
a couple of things that we can improve here. Say everybody with me, I can do business. I can I do can business. business. can do business. Exactly. When we business. use modal verbs like can, then uh, you don't use ing. Yes, you always, yes. Oh, okay. I can play, I can sleep, I can speak English, etc. Okay? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. And also the pronunciation will be hospital. Hospital. Uh -huh. hospital. Hospital. Uh -huh. hospital. 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 Good evening. Hospital. So guys, hospital. let's go ahead and work on this thing. Today we have, we already finished section number one. How are you doing with the platform? Have you been working on the platform? I've been working in all the exercise, teacher. I okay. passed them. Okay, nice. Just make sure that you are working on the on the platform. Yep. So if you have any question, you let me know and I'll help you out. Oh, now okay. today we're gonna be starting with number two. Here it is. And section we, section uh -huh. two. Section okay. two. So we have intro videos for you to test your comprehension. So we're gonna mute our microphones. I'm gonna play part of the video and I'm gonna be asking you questions about it. Got it? Got it. Yes. Got it. Uh, you know what, I think I gotta get the, the cord because Wi-Fi is taking a long time. Let me try it. Okay, there we go. Please mute your microphone. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to Pay attention to the secret. Why is the cafe doing well? Because there's a food. Your success? I've been Almost very lucky, and I have great customers, but it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's <laughs> convenient, right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year, and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends, and during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. 
But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. All right, guys. Are you still here? We're yes. Nice. Yes, we are. Yes. We are. Nice. I know you are. So, um, get, tell me a couple of things on on why that cafe is so um, is doing so well. Um, well, Close to begin, the it's the location, and it's a good place where people can find can find it, and the music is good. Uh, they have good seats. Uh, they, they say that the, the coffee shop must be comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, we have cozy music where students can students can study, read, and they encourage the, speak, the students to stay. And well, the atmosphere must be great. Okay. And nice. yeah, they have some good food too. You can eat there, or you can buy it to get home. You can take it to go, or you can eat there. You can take it home, you can say, you uh -huh. can take it home. You, exactly. All right, good. Good, good, you pretty much got everything right there, um, Thomas. Because, because, nice. uh, because mm -hmm. uh, very good place, very good to coffee place. So. It is a very good coffee place. And I'm sorry, um, your name says Zapato right here, but what's your name? <laughs> I don't know, but because <laughs> I don't know this this name. <laughs> uh, Julio, Julio. <laughs> okay, Julio. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Just wanted to make sure that it's not a weird name. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, very good. Um, guys, do you know what is the meaning of convenient? Convenient. 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 When, what, what's the definition of convenient? Convenient. Uh, it has to be a place where people can find it. Uh, easy to mm -hmm. find. Easy to find. What else? Uh, Fresh food every morning. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, friend? Fresh food every morning. They make the food, you know, in, in like fresh in, in the morning or even when the customer asks for food. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. So that's um, it's good to read uh, and homework. Okay, nice. Um, it's good to read and do your homework. So convenient is that is easy to find. That is that makes everything easier in a lot of aspects. That's actually convenient. Okay. Now, out of business. Do you know what is the meaning of out of business? Closed. Uh, they basically no work. They, uh, com competition and around. Uh, they could uh, They couldn't. They couldn't get the money they they wanted to, or maybe the. Uh, how do you say when you go when it's you? A it's a particular a particular way to do any business or any. Uh, Run out of business. Yes. Do you know Do you know what happened to to La Tapa Chulteca? Do you remember La Tapa? Yeah, yes. I remember. Yes. They <laughs> ran out of business, right? They ran out yeah. of business. Yeah. So yes, they yes. are out of the business. In Spanish, is the uh, productos variables. Cerraron. Oh, close. No. Uh -huh. close. No. They close. Our, our business they close. Is no work no more. It's, uh -huh. it's not there in the, the place that used to be. Uh -huh. Exactly. So it's when you go bankruptcy. Bankruptcy, mm -hmm. se fueron a la quiebra. Yeah. Uh -huh. They went bankruptcy. They are out of business. Same that happened to... Uh -huh. I have a question. Uh, what, what do you... Uh, right, please, in the chat, uh, bankruptcy. Oh, yeah, sure. Bankruptcy. Quiebra. It's a new word for me. Okay, nice. nice. I'm glad. Bankruptcy. 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 Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
You're welcome. Now, what happened to Central Cafe, guys? They went bank bankruptcy, so they closed the store because they couldn't afford. Um, they went bankruptcy. Bank bankruptcy. Bankruptcy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They bankruptcy. went bankruptcy. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, choose. Um, choose a person, Thomas, from the from the group. David, I think, is the other. Uh, okay. David, yeah, I think is the one that I work with. See, David. Yeah, David. <laughs> Are you here? <laughs> yeah, he's he's like that, right there. Yes. Yes. Okay, David, okay. tell me. What happened to Central Cafe? Why did they go bankruptcy? Why are they out of business? Why? Mm -hmm. I didn't understand the reason. Okay, no worries about it. Choose yeah. a victim. Okay, uh, Francisco. Fran. Yes. Uh -huh. What happened to that cafe? Yeah. I think because they they went to bankruptcy because they don't make a lot of um, customers. Um, that's right. They don't have no money to go in, to, you know, like to still going, keeping going the business. Uh huh. That's that, right. That's what happened. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Good, good point of view. But why? Yeah. yeah. They mentioned the the, the 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 reason. They didn't have because comfortable they make, seats. Make a lot of competition. That one, William, right there. They didn't have yes. comfortable chairs. Comfortable chairs. Uh -huh. Exactly. Say it with me, comfortable. Uh -huh. Comfortable. Comfortable. Uh huh. Exactly. Comfortable. They didn't have comfortable chairs. Now, chairs. Sorry, how do you say? Comfortable. 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 That's right. Okay. Now, there is a rule. I think I have it right here. Give me a second. Okay. Um, for, you know, some purposes, don't ask me about the material, okay? I'm just going to show you something right here. <laughs> something I'm using. Just a second. Here. I'm going to show you something about pronunciation real quick, which is out of the, out of the material. So I don't want to take too long on this. Okay. Okay. So do you see this right here? Yes. Yes. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm going to explain it real quick. When you have three syllables or more and the stress is in the first syllable, you normally, not in every cases, you normally do not pronounce the second syllable. Ah, For okay. example, you don't say like Mrs. Holly. I don't know if you've seen that YouTube channel. Miss Holly, no se dice. So ah, you don't, yeah. say, uh -huh. you don't mm -hmm. say average, you say average. 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 You don't average. say different, you say Different. 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 Uh -huh. Say with me. Different. 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 So, how do you say the next one? Separate. Se separate. 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 Exactly. You separate. Don't pronounce separate. The a. Mm -hmm. separate. That's right. Comfort. You don't pronounce the A. So, with the word that Comfort we're talking table. about, comfortable. 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 As you can see, the O. Comfortable. The o, comfortable. Okay, give me a second, please. Give me a second. The O is not going to be pronounced. So you're going to say something okay. like this. Comfortable. Uh -huh. Comfortable. There are many ways of doing this. So comfortable. Okay, thank you. Comfortable. comfortable. And the stress is here. Comfortable. 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 Or you can say, but this is this is a little bit different. Come, comfort, interesting, interesting. So you can also say comfortable, 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 comfortable. Okay, guys, remember. I know that you really want to practice, but I would recommend you if you want 
me to hear you to do it two times because otherwise we have the machine gun effect which is like comfortable for five minutes okay right. so, so yes pronounce it but comfortable exactly comfortable but not too many times because otherwise keep okay. this one it's easier next one we don't say interesting we say Interesting. 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 Vegetable. 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 Okay. So so I can wrap this up so I can close this. This is not part of the material, so I'm gonna do it quick in Spanish. Now cuando nosotros tenemos palabras que tienen tres o más sílabas, ¿cuáles son las sílabas? Por ejemplo, Arturo, tres sílabas. Mm -hmm. William, dos sílabas. No vamos a decir William, va unida. William. William. Now, esas son los, las sílabas. A, V, R, E, G. So, cuando tienen tres o más sílabas y el estrés, la fuerza de voz está en la primera, vamos a eliminar la segunda vocal. ¿Ok? Aquí es donde yo les decía. A, ahí suben. A, V, R, E, G. No pronuncian la E. Different. No dicen different. Now, separate. This is with most of them. Esto es con la mayoría. Now, how do you pronounce familia? Family. 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 Or, aha, uh -huh, it's like a little E. Family. Family. Say it with me. Family. Family. So, tampoco family. una e, una e tan tan fuerte, no? Hey, I want to meet family. your family. family. A little bit suavecita. Family. 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 <laughs> so again, la fuerza de voz empieza en la primera. Family. Por ese motivo, family. no decimos la segunda vocal. Estamos con esto. Okay, thank yes. you. Okay, very good. So after the commercial, that was on my end. After the commercial, <laughs> let's go back to the material. Now, so do you know what is the meaning of cozy? It's in the chat, by the way. Cozy. Cozy. Yeah, cozy is like, mm, uh, you feel comfortable? Exactly. Cozy is yeah. another way of saying comfortable. Relaxing. Cozy, like, oh, man, this is so cozy. Mm -hmm. So it's comfortable. All right. Next one, they encourage people to stay. So they tell them, hey, you know what? Spend more time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What is the meaning of pastry? Pastry. Um, you get cookies. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> So uh -huh. please don't say sweet bread. Mm -hmm. okay, the dessert. Say, dessert. Exactly, dessert. That's pastry. Pan dulce. How do you say mm -hmm. pan dulce? Pastry. 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 Exactly. Pastry. So I, I really hope that you have learned new vocabulary and a little bit of pronunciation during this exercise. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and move on. Let's move forward. Move forward is another way of saying continue. So let's go ahead and read with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson At the end of this objective. lesson, participants will understand how to use indefinite clauses to describe purpose. Yeah, this lesson participants uh -huh. will understand how to use infinitive clauses to describe purposes. By the end of this lesson, participants will understand how to use infinitive clauses to describe purpose. To describe purpose, that's right. So, we're going to double check it right now. Describing people. This kind of purpose. Uh -huh. I'm gonna stop my video because of the bandwidth. Let's pay attention to the content. There we go. Hi, for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. 
So say and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to observe. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We have to. Not it. All right. So in this one, pretty much we can describe something. And we could also use it to give advice or opinion. Give me a second. I'm trying to move the image right here. It got stuck. There it is. Now, how do you say, para tener éxito en la vida, necesitas esforzarte? To have succeed in life. To have in life, you gotta be like, you gotta, you gotta be great <laughs> ideas. Nice, nice. Don't worry about it. I'm throwing you a curveball. <laughs> All right. So say it with me. Succeed. 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 Business. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I just want you to know that this verb succeed can be replaced by anything else. Now, para tener éxito en la vida, to succeed in life, to succeed in life, to succeed in life, you have you to, have to, you have, to mm -hmm. have an open mind. Okay, to have an open mind. That's right. Make your best effort. Okay, to succeed in life. Coma. You have to do your best. You to. Para tener you éxito to en la vida, best. tienes que hacer lo mejor. O tienes que dar lo mejor de ti. Now, who can use this structure? I'm going to give you another one so I can change the verb. To, okay. to learn English. Coma. You have to study, to study hard. Very hard. So, as you can see, it doesn't really matter what verb you are using as long as you have the right complement and you use you have to. Okay. Okay. Now, another example to wake up early. You, put, you gotta put the alarm. You have to put the alarm. Yeah. You have to put the alarm. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> But here, to wake up early, you have to or set you got an alarm. Mm -hmm, set the alarm. Set the alarm. Or you have to go to bed early. It's yeah. up to you. Very early. Okay. Now, who can give me another example using this structure? Just one. In in order to lose weight. You yes. must eat. You must eat less. Yes, but using nice example, Thomas. But let's try to apply it to this one in particular. In order to be healthy, you have to do exercise. Okay, so let's use this structure to be healthy. To be healthy, uh huh. You must work out. Or work out. Okay, nice. You have nice to examples, work out. Thomas. I'm not saying that is wrong because you are replacing instead of have to, you are using must. 
which is pretty much the same. But so people can have the structure in mind, I am sticking to this, okay? Okay. Okay. It's not that I didn't like your examples, I actually liked it a lot, but we have to work with the structure. So okay. I see you a little bit, some of you are a little bit confused. So to plus verb base plus complement, comma. Subject plus have to plus verb base plus complement. Now it sounds a little bit confusing to have all of these things. So, for example, can anybody give me an advice in Spanish? Deme un consejo o algún comentario en español. Para tal cosa para tienes que tal cosa. Para evitar para evitar contagio Ajá. de COVID. Tú debes okay. permanecer en casa. Ok. To no debes salir de casa. To avoid. Quédate en casa. Yes. So, we can have to avoid to avoid getting COVID getting COVID mm -hmm. to avoid you getting have COVID to stay at home. you have to stay you have home. to stay at home Stay at home, home or, or so only stay home, home. Mm -hmm. stay home okay exactly now i want to explain something avoid is a verb that must be followed by gerunds okay esto es algo delicado, señores. No delicado, yeah. que uy, que Dios mío, vea. Pero sí la gente se, se tiende a confundir. Entonces, hay verbos que pueden ir seguidos de infinitivo, que es nada más que un verbo en base, o en gerundio, que es el famoso ING. Ajá. Okay. Entonces, hay varias combinaciones ahí, como cuando usted pide una minuta, le pueden hacer de lo que usted quiera. Entonces, avoid es un verbo que solo puede ir seguido de ING. Usted no puede decir to avoid eat o no puede decir to avoid run porque tiene que llevar ING la segunda parte. To avoid running, to avoid eating. Okay. Uy, perdón, pensé que tenía la cámara. Special no, case. No, no, no. It's, it's just a rule. Avoid is a verb that must be followed by gerund. Okay. So we have All to right. avoid getting sick getting sick coma You Can have you to, ahí va la estructura, stay mm -hmm. home. To avoid okay. getting so, sick, you have to stay home. You have to stay, mm -hmm. lo unimos, you have to stay home. You have to stay okay. home. Correct. Okay. Now, um, give me another recommendation like that one. Good job. I like that one. Another one. In Spanish if you want, so we can change it. To, uh, to be gonna, a good driver, you uh -huh. gotta practice a lot. Yep, to be you a good practice. driver. Driver, you comma. have to practice. You have to practice mm -hmm. a lot. A lot. Nice. I'm writing yes. all of these examples in the chat, okay? Just for all you right. to know. To be a good driver. A good driver, sorry. Driver. Oh, driver. Mm -hmm. You must practice. All right, give me another one. This is for a restaurant. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's good, but to have a great, to have great food menu, no, to have great food in the menu, you have to practice your cooking skills. Yep. Okay. Nice, good job. You, menu va con acento, pero a veces el chat cambia las cosas, así que no okay. pillo por chat. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have to practice your cooking skills. Okay, nice. Um, the last example, please. To be a good student. Nice. You, you have to be person. To look for a better job, you have to improve your resume. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. To be a good, with the previous one, to be a good student, comma, you have to. What was that example? You have to what? To you have to improve your resume. Improve your your resume. Resume. Ah, okay. Para ser un buen estudiante, tienes que mejorar tu, tu curriculum. To look for a better job. Ah, okay. So we are we are mixing tenses. 
Okay. To look for a better job. You have to improve your resume. Your resume. Everybody say it with me. Resume. 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 Mm -hmm. That's how you say curriculum vitae in English. Resume. 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 Curriculum. El resume. Ah, miren, vaya, pausa. Resume. ¿Se acuerdan lo que les dije anteriormente? Que si lleva el estrés, o no el estrés que el que tenemos todos, vea, sino que la fuerza de voz en la primera, generalmente no se dice la segunda vocal. Pero aquí no lo podemos hacer porque quitamos absolutamente todo el significado. No podemos yeah. decir resume. ¿Verdad? No, o sea, nos paseamos en la palabra. Entonces, no todas se puede quitar la segunda vocal. Aquí sí le tenemos que poner resume. Es como excepción. No excepción, excepción sino que si, se, si lo que queremos decir cambia de significado o carece de significado por quitarle la vocal, entonces ahí sí lo dejamos. Si yo te digo, okay. yo quiero comer pat. Eso es quitar una vocal, puede ser pata, una patilla de cucha ahí bien sabrosa, puede pato. ser paté, puede ser pato. Entonces, si le cambia el significado, no lo hagan. El mismo, <risa> el mismo sentido lo va a ir llevando. Now, you have to improve your skills. No tanto el resumen, porque si no yo voy a la librería, vaya, ahorita le puse que me gradué de Harvard, ya mejoré mi currículum, va, me va a salir un trabajo. So you have to improve your skills. Improve your skills. Exactly. Skills. Now, do you guys have any question with this one? No. Are you sure? Speak now or be okay. quiet forever. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Nice to meet. So let's go ahead and use the next structure that I'm just going to have right here. As soon as this loads. Give me a second. We may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may. Okay, so the beautiful thing about English, guys, is that it depends on vocabulary. Structures are normally kind of simple. Here, instead of you have to, you can say you gotta, you must, you should. You can use more things. So instead of using to look, you can include in order to. In order to look for a better job, you have to improve your skills. Okay, so what is the difference that you are adding in order to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. So all you gotta do yes. is play with the vocabulary. Let's go ahead and continue with the video because after that we're gonna practice. Add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with or. Or plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus four plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we need it. <laughs> Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. All right, guys. So here, pretty much we have two different things. That's one. So I wanted to please convert examples to the next structure. Now, remember that you are uh, talking about nouns. Okay. For a job to be better, you have to improve your skills so as you can see on the chat we are not working with the verb at the beginning we are using it later on for a restaurant 
to to have customers they have to what do they have to to do in order for a restaurant to have customers clean the tables uh -huh. clean the tables every day okay. what else to have courteous staff uh -huh. give me another example a complete example um uh, you can offer uh, a good menu or healthy food okay nice i like it let's go ahead and create it using the full thing for a restaurant to what uh, for, a, for a restaurant get a lot of customers okay the worker has to be kindly kindness okay all right so for a for restaurant a... give me a second that this thing is minuscule right now. Okay. Let's see. for a no restaurant to be popular popular and what was the example i think it was for a restaurant get a lot of customers I think it was Eneida's compliment for a restaurant for a restaurant to be popular. To be popular, mm -hmm. to be popular. No. the the worker has to be kindness. Kindness. The workers have to be have to be kind. 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 Mm -hmm. The kind. workers have to be kind. Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, Give me another example. A complete example. Para que tal cosa sea tal cosa para que tu papá sea eh, cariñoso tenés que hablarle todos los días para que el teacher te ayude con con los ejercicios tenés que escribirle ok in order, in, in order for the restaurant to succeed they order, have to get a, a great chef in order for a restaurant to succeed they must have a great chef. A great chef. Okay, so now <clears throat> this is what I wanted to do, guys. We have four different ways of saying this about describing purpose. Para describir. So, what I wanted to do is, for example, I have a project. This is just an example. I want to open a barber shop. Could you give me some suggestions? And you can start. In order to open a barbershop, you have to. To look for a barbershop, you have to. And you get more information. Is it clear? More than to open a barbershop. Mm -hmm. So using these structures you have right here, you're going to give advice to people. Te van a dar consejos a los demás. Para que ellos pongan su changarrito de de ropa, así tipo el agachón, el bajemeso, um, a restaurant. Mete la mano. Ajá, uh -huh. is this a new one? I didn't know that one. Okay, et cetera, et cetera. And try to make it, <clears throat> try to make it real. All right? All right. Good. Go ahead and accept the invite. And uh, let's go ahead and practice. Any questions? I'll be visiting you. There you go. Now you should be able to accept the invite that has been sent. Nice. Novia, can you hear me? Good. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Okay, good. I want to hear you practice. Please. All right.
in order for a barber shop to succeed, mm -hmm. they have to get a good location. Nice. In, in order for a, a barbershop to um, succeed, has to um, get a, um, a good haircut, a haircut man. Okay, a barber. A, bar, a barber man. You can say oh. a barber. Haircut, haircut man. Oh, barber, barber. Yeah, okay. a barber. In order for a barbershop to have customers, they have to get a good they have to get good barbers barber barbers yes right now so we have to use uh, always how in the second how. sentence no no not really you can actually change it by could must gotta so it's up to you but yeah. i would recommend you to use that structure so you can keep the so you can keep it right and you're practicing with the same all Once right. you have that knowledge, like stronger, then you can start changing things. All right. Mm -hmm. no. All right. Continue. Try to use both structures. In in order in order for a, a for a, a barber shop to see has to has to be in good location. Yes, it has to it has to be in a good location. Now let's yeah. make sure that you change. This is not only a barber right. shop, okay? So oh, okay. change places, change etc. Sure. All right, let me check another group. Okay. okay. A gym, to gyms you must have a uh, nice infrastructure, <laughs> infrastructure, um, uh, oh, for a gym to see, kind, kind worker, yeah, for example, for a gym to, to succeed, what, what, for a gym to succeed, mm -hmm. you must have a good trainer, for example, or yeah. great, you must have a great trainer, a uh, nice infrastructure, infrastructure. <laughs> nice, um, a good machine. Uh, what do you what say? Do you personal say? amable, uh, worker kind, verdad? Kind personnel. What? Kind personnel, I'm gonna write it down. Kind. Kind. Kind, kind, kind. Per personal. Personnel, correct. And you must Thank have you. a great location too. Ah, yeah. Just... You must have a great location. And you can have a dance dancing trainer. Most dancing some people trainer. love to dance, yeah. Dancing Women trainer. especially, they love to dance, so mm -hmm. that's a good practice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that it's very important to have a spa. <laughs> okay. You must have a spa. In the, in the gym? Hello. Uh, just, uh, hey, what's up? The picture. <laughs> in, uh, uh, other example could be in order to improve the, the services, uh, you have to to uh, offer advertising in, in social. Uh, social, what's the social, what is social? Social networks. Social networks. Mm -hmm. Always in plural. Social and networks. Del café con pan. Social networks. <laughs> yeah. uh, coffee with, again, coffee with pan. Pronounce again, teacher. Which one? Coffee. Coffee? coffee which one a coffee? Which one, which one a coffee? The offer. What the do you offer, want to say? Uh, I'm, I'm not getting it. What is the message? I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not really getting the the idea. Uh, in Spanish. Yes. Okay. Uh, que ellos se regalan el 
una taza de café. Oh, regalar ah. es give out. Give out. Give, give out. Uh, out. Out o up. Out. I'm going to write it down in the chat. Give out. Give out. Okay. Oops, out. Give out. Uh, give out. Uh, a, little, a little more coffee. Okay, but I want to hear the right structure. What is it, the full idea? In order to... Ta, ta, ta. Okay, I want to hear that. Ta, ta, ta. <laughs> In 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 order to in order to in order uh, in, improve the service in the barber shop, uh -huh. uh, you have you have to to give out give it out give out a cup the, of coffee cup okay coffee. nice or you can say you can offer or you have to now. Mm. Here is, is when you say, if you're going to use have to, it's an you obligation. Could. It's something yes. that you have to do every single time. But if it's a recommendation like this one, you can use can or could. You could. Okay. Tu puedes o podrías, you can, could, offer, you can give out. complimentary. You can, you have. Coffee. Have complimentary is that is included in the service. Complimentary. It's complimentary, written coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. complimentary coffee, it means that it's included. Okay, okay. included. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. All right, so we're going to go back to the main room, all right? Thank you, guys. Okay, so thank you very much for coming back. For coming back, the rest of the people is gonna come back real soon. All right, people, so thank you very much. Um, I don't know about you, but I consider that this topic, this topic needs to be practiced a little bit more. Mm -hmm, yes, because sure. I, uh -huh. I see that it's still not clear deeply. So my recommendation would be the following. Um, I'm going to need you to send to the group one example of each structure. Watch the video again. And as you notice, you have two structures. Well, yeah, two, two examples of the first structure. You have to open a bar. You have two, blah, blah, blah. And the other one is the same. In order to open a bar, you have to blah, blah, blah. So, ese va con verbo, to open. The other one goes with nouns. Okay? For, iba con for, no con two. For a restaurant to blah, 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 comma, they have to blah, blah, blah. For a teacher to blah, 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 he or she has to blah, blah, blah. So Are you going to give us a homework? Yes. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <clears throat> because I wanted to practice it a little bit more. So just one example of each. <clears throat> one example with to plus verb. In order to plus verb. For plus noun. And in order for plus noun. So pretty much four different examples. If you have a question, help each other out on the group. That's why we are a team, okay? And try to send it by tomorrow before the class. If you have a question with this, then we can go ahead and reinforce it. Talk a little bit more about it. All right. Okay. okay. Teacher, sorry, I have a question. So go ahead. Uh, can you um, give me, um, I don't know, uh -huh. your, your, Number simple, cell phone because uh, WhatsApp group. 
I guess is a other teacher. Oh, where are you? Okay, yes, I'm gonna send, let me open my WhatsApp, I'm gonna send a message right now. Give me a second. Um, where are you? Give me a moment, I have a lot of chats open. Three advanced, three, okay. Did you get the message? Yes, we got it. We got it. Teacher, so, are you in the group? Yes, I'm in the group. I'm chatting it in the group. If you're not getting the message, it means that you are in a different group. All right, I was yes. in two different groups and I didn't know. I don't where have you, where you, where you, okay, so, um, do me, if, Irene, I'm going to text you personally, again, I don't want this number, this number to be on YouTube, right, <laughs> so, um, I'm going to text you, Irene, privately, check the chat, please. Okay, check the internal chat and um, text me, send me. Hey, my name is Irene. Give me your full name so I can and report your, it and they can add it to the Alejandro group. Alejandro Narbon. Yes, guys. This is okay, Alejandro thank Narbon. All right. Thank you. All right, guys. Make sure you do your homework because we are going to review this topic tomorrow as soon as we come. Thank you very much okay. for being okay. here. Have a good night. Thank you. Take care. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank, you. thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.